everyone, my name is Lindley and today we will be cooking chicken chow fun. So first off, the dish requires two chicken breast cubes. So here are my raw cubed chicken breasts, followed by 14 ounces of rice noodles. I'm using thin rice noodles. Um, traditional chow fun is made with thicker rice noodles, but because of the pandemic, this is all I could get um, for the dish. And then you need three tablespoons of soy sauce, one teaspoon of sugar, one teaspoon of cornstarch, one fourth teaspoon of black pepper, a dash of salt, three tablespoons of cooking oil. I'm using canola oil, but it's kind of up to you whatever oil you want to use. And some fresh garlic ginger, one fourth cup of onion, which I already have mine prepared and diced, two cups of broccoli, which I need to wash and chop up, and a half cup of red pepper, which also needs to be washed and chopped up. So to start, I'm going to boil a large pot um, of water, and once the water's at a boil, I'm going to add the 14 ounces of rice noodles and let them cook for about 10 minutes. Happens, I am going to make the marinade for the chicken. So I'm making it in this little measuring cup and then I'll pour it into the plastic bag. So, Okay, so to start, the sauce calls for two tablespoons of soy sauce. We're going to need one teaspoon of sugar, and one teaspoon of cornstarch. And then we need a dash of salt. All right, so I'm going to mix around the marinade a bit and then I'm going to pour it into the bag and mix in the chicken and let it sit in the fridge for about 10 minutes. 10 minutes, the rice noodles are on the stove cooking and I'm going to be stirring them occasionally and the chicken is marinating in the refrigerator. So I'm going to prepare the rest of the vegetables and spices needed for the noodle dish. So first off, we need one tablespoon of garlic. So I'm using pre-chopped garlic, um, but you can also use fresh garlic if you prefer. And I'm just gonna be putting them in this little bowl so it's ready to go when it comes time to mix it into the skillet. After the garlic, I need about a tablespoon or a few slices of fresh ginger. So first off, I'm going to peel the skin off of it and then I'm going to cut it up. So now that my gar my garlic and ginger are going to be put into the 
skillet together first before the broccoli, red pepper, and onion. I'm gonna combine the ginger with the garlic in this bowl, and then I'm going to move on to preparing the rest of the foods. So I already have some leftover onion from the night before, so it's pre-chopped, which is really helpful, but if you don't already have the pre-chopped onion, at this time, chop about one fourth cup of onion. Here's mine, oh, and here's the bowl of the garlic and ginger. And remember to go and stir the noodles throughout your process of cutting up the vegetables. So next up, I'm going to be cutting up this red pepper to get about a half cup of it for the stir fry before I add in the noodles. Alrighty, so now that the red pepper is all chopped up, as you can see, it's now time to do the last step for the vegetables, which is cutting up the pieces of broccoli. Alrighty, so now all of the broccoli is chopped up and I'm gonna empty out the onion onto this tray as well. Um, so now about the time it should be up, so I'm going to go check on the noodles and pull out the chicken from the fridge in order to start cooking it up. Rice noodles are done, so my mom's going to help me pour them out and drain them. And then since the rest of the meal isn't fully prepared yet, um, rice noodles will stick together if you don't mix them with sauce immediately. So the best way to get them to not stick together is to place them in very cold water. So I will be filling the pot back up with really cold water and letting the noodles sit in it until I'm ready to mix them in with the rest of the stir. Cook nicely and the chicken is ready to be cooked up after it was marinated. So I'm going to turn on the skillet um, or the oven and put it on medium high heat. And I'm going to add in one tablespoon of cooking oil just so the chicken doesn't stick at all. If you're using a bigger or smaller pan, you can adjust the amount of oil that you choose to use. Um, but making sure it's nicely coated around the pan. And then I'm going to add in the chicken. So that's going to cook for about one to two minutes on the first side that they all went down on and then once it's looking a bit golden brown you're going to flip it over for another one to two minutes. Um, so I'll let it cook. is all cooked so I'm going to be putting it onto a separate plate since I'm going to use the same skillet to prepare the vegetables. That looks really good. So now it's time to move on to actually cooking the vegetables. So I'm going to add the remaining two tablespoons of cooking oil to the skillet. And then I am going to add the ginger and garlic and let them fry just in the oil to infuse some flavor into it for about 45 seconds. So. Okay, 
so now that the garlic and ginger has some had some time to infuse into the cooking oil it's time to add the remaining two tablespoons of soy sauce and then the broccoli onion and red pepper smelling really good having just the garlic and ginger mixed with the oil and all of the vegetables are going to be added warm up and fry a little um, for about two minutes and then the noodles will be added um, they'll have to strain them again out of the cold water that they've been sitting in to ensure that they weren't sticking together um, so now that the pasta and the vegetables have all mixed together, it's time to add in the final ingredient, which is the cooked and marinated chicken. And then you're just going to mix this up and then you're ready to serve your chicken chow fun.